Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you some stealth tips for Roblox Notoriety that work on pretty much every map. Um, these are just a general tips on what you should do and what you should not do. All maps are different during stealth, but uh, you should watch some other videos on how to do those. But here are some good ways to not get detected and uh, some good skills that you can get to um, be successful during many different um, robberies and heists uh, in notoriety. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so the first um, thing that we're going to talk about are civilians. Civilians are just normal people in the game, uh, normal NPCs, and they don't really do anything. But the only thing that's bad about civilians is that, uh, first of all, they can uh, set off the alarms. So, what you're going to want to do, my favorite stealth map is probably Downtown Bank, just because I'm so good at it. So, what uh, civilians do is, if you alert a civilian, uh, and that means that they get an exclamation point above their head. They don't have the calling sign, uh, calling sign, uh, like guards. You kinda gotta get to them quick. And you can either take them hostage or just kill them. And I usually just kill them because taking them hostage, uh, sometimes doesn't work because you might not have enough cable ties or also they can get up sometimes and, uh, run away and set off the alarms. So that's kinda just a bad idea sometimes. And, um, yeah, so they're really important because most of the time on some of the different robberies, um, when you go up to them, they don't have, uh, like, a, a meter to see how much, you know, uh, how long it's going to take for them to go exclamation point. Like, sometimes in Downtown Bank, if you uh, shoot something with a non-suppressed gun, everyone gets alerted and you're basically screwed because you can't really get everyone at once. All the guards are calling the cops and you're just gonna, you know, just, you're gonna lose. So, you gotta usually take out the civilians first or, uh, or after you take down the guards. Um, and some of the robberies, like Shadow Raid, you don't want to take down any of the guards unless they're already alerted and you can't do anything about it. So uh, that's an important factor there. And um, as you can see, I'm playing some Downtown Bank in the background here. Um, I'm actually recording a voice recording from like after this. So it took me like two tries to do this, but usually after you do stealth, uh, stealth mission one time, then you kind of get the hang of it. Like, um, I spent about three hours with my friends trying to figure out how to do downtown bank. Um, but then we figured it out after a while and then we're like really good at it now. We can do it like every try. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, you gotta kind of take out all the civilians second, uh, after the guards or anyone else that is, uh, possibly able to alert you. But also civilians spawn in, like, the middle sometimes, so you gotta, uh, make sure that you can have, like, all pick locks open, so then you have a nice open area and doors to get to the civilians that might be alerted after seeing, like, like, dead bodies and stuff, because that usually happens on stealth and, um, I failed a few missions before just because of that, so you kind of got to make sure that, um, you know, you got all that. Alright, now we're into the juicy stuff. So, uh, now we got guards. So, guards are a crucial um, part of this because on some maps, uh, it's to tell you if they have a lot of guards or not, but, um, I know that Downtown Bank has a lot of guards. It has around three to four. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be talking about Downtown Bank a lot because I know a lot about that. But usually on higher difficulties, just like Shadow Raid, um, there's going to be more guards because that's what makes it um, uh, more, you know, dangerous because otherwise it's just going to be the same every single time. Um, and uh, with guards is uh, they... they um, they kind of call the cops when they get alerted. Uh, you can see if they're calling them uh, by the look of their uh, cell phone. But one big difference between cops and um, civilians are there's actually two. First of all, um, the uh, guards, not cops, um, they actually uh, they start shooting at you if they get alerted. So that's and they don't have suppressors on their gun. So you gotta kind of take them out quick after they do that. Um, so if you're in firing range, then you want to, uh, either take them hostage really quick or, um, take them out really quick or else, uh, 
they're gonna start shooting and all the civilians will get alerted and then uh, you lose so yeah and then also one thing about guards is that they have pagers so after you kill them um, this is one thing why you should get the skill to take um, people uh, guards hostage is you need um, is after they die, then you have to answer a pager. A pager is basically a special, like, cop sort of radio for guards and stuff. But the big difference between a normal radio and them are they can't really be intercepted. So, you kind of, you gotta answer the guy on the other end. Uh, we don't know who the guy is. They just call him the pager operator. But on nightmare modes, uh, usually on downtown bank, you gotta wait for... You gotta at least take hostage one of the guards, because the last guard every single time, the pager operator won't be convinced. So you can't answer too many pagers, or else your luck just runs out eventually, and you're gonna get caught. So that's uh, one thing, big thing about guards. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it about guards. Um, they're just annoying sometimes because you have to take out so many of them, but you're gonna want to take out the guards before the civilians. Um, uh, there's still, you can still take out some of the civilians, it depends on, like, what area you're at. If other civilians in another area with guards can see that area, then you probably shouldn't. But you kind of want to take things one step at a time, because there's, like, kind of two wings of downtown bank. One of them is, like, the teller area, and then one of them is, like, the back where, like, they talk with other people. You're going to want to get people in the back first, and then, um, you get the teller people and stuff, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to talk about some skills and stuff that you're going to need to um, be successful. Alright, so instead of um, <clears throat> recording the thing before, I'm just going to cut a part out of it, uh, the gameplay, and just uh, show you guys right here. Because I don't remember the names of everything, but I'll know what they look like. So these are the two ones that you're going to want to take um, <clears throat> officers hostage. Halt right here is um, the one that you need them hostage, and Joker is where you can convert them. So converting them means that they fight on your side, but this isn't the best all the time during stealth especially, because sometimes the guards that um, are on your side start shooting at other guards. So, um, and that's a big thing because, you know, the guards don't have suppressors, so you're kind of just, uh, yeah, just a waste. And then, uh, so, Enforcer, uh, you're gonna want Pack Animal, because sometimes, um, if guards see bags on the ground, um, then you're, yeah, you kind of just, uh, are screwed. Because, you know, if they see a pack on the ground, they'll, they'll say, like, they saw, like, a mysterious bag on the ground or something, and that's not good, <laughs> so... And then technician, uh, these are two uh, big ones in here. You're going to want cameraman. And, um, yeah, you can use cameras in casing mode. Um, so then you can, like, spot enemies and stuff for your teammates. And then um, also this surfire, um, it's not very important for stealth, but it's okay if you want to, like, level up to the next one. Um, yeah, and then carrier pigeon. This is the biggest one. You're going to want to ace it, too, because... Um, you can carry two bags, um, and if you get the one where you can carry it faster, then it's basically carrying two, but it feels like one. So, well, not feels like one, almost one. And then, the inf uh, yeah, this, because it gives you, uh, better concealment points, and also, you you open up pig locks a lot faster, and this is really important during downtown banking, especially because um, you know, uh, they have the pig locks inside of the vault, and you gotta get the pig locks. And if you bring a saw, then it brings up your detection rate really, really extremely high, and um, it's kind of just bad because you're gonna get detected really quickly. And that's one thing why I kind of hate it when I'm doing um like. Uh, stealth with like random people because sometimes you know you get um, people that don't put on the proper armor or anything and then they just ruin everyone so yeah and then mm, yep like this ECM overdrive I, I kind of want that all right there we go and then um, yeah 
it's uh ECM jammers are really cool too because if you get that one right there then you can open up uh like doors and stuff. And then um yeah, stamina uh duck and cover. Uh that is also a really good one. And um yeah, uh it's just important to get all these because then you're going to be really good at uh, stealth. My main loadout is a stealth loadout. It's just because I like stealth now after I tried it like once or twice. So yeah, that's just important to get these. Uh, it's just a recommendation. Remember that you don't have to get these, but it's, they're pretty good. All right, guys. So last uh, tip that I want to give you is about cameras. Uh, I just whacked myself in the face with my microphone. I'm sorry, but um, yeah. So cameras, they're really important, especially on missions above normal mode. On normal mode, the cameras you can break them, you know, all that just to disable them, and uh, they won't come back on. But on modes like hard mode and above, then the the cameras they come indestructible. You can't shoot them down. The only way is you have to get to the source of the cameras, which is the cameraman. And on some maps, I know, like Diamond Star, um, the camera room can be rather random. There could be two possible places for the room to be. One of the places is in the back, and one of them is in, a, in the front. And um, the back is the best one, probably, because that's when you're going to be entering normally. But, um, yeah, so you want to get that. Um, so you got to make sure where the camera room is. On the um, downtown bank, uh, you, you always really have to get a key card for the camera door or you just have to pick lock the door anyway. So um, I know on downtown bank you have to get the key card, which is in the office all the time, and then you have to go get the camera room, which is really easy because it's just in the back and no one really sees it. And then uh, I touch the guard and take him hostage because i do doing on, on nightmare mode and I don't want to have to answer a ton of pagers and then lose. Um, so yeah. And, um, yeah, cameras are really important because after they get an exclamation point on them, or they get alerted, um, then they, they call the cops, and, uh, uh, you know, that bad happens because they call the cops, and then, um, y you can't do anything about it, and then you have to restart the mission, which I'm pretty sure you lose a little bit of money or XP, I don't know. I'm not sure if if it's a repeat or anything, but um, I'm not I'm I don't know a ton about the money. I know the cleanup is like if you shoot the civilians, but you kind of got to do that sometimes. You may earn a lot less money, but some people are like, no, to take them all hostage. Um, you gotta you gotta get either the skills with a ton of table uh, that gives you extra cable ties, or you just gotta you know shoot them because you kind of got no other options or anything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure to subscribe. That That's a big part. Help me hit um, 500 subs by 2021. And then I might do a special video, like a, a thank you or something. Just uh, maybe like I'll buy a ton of Robux or spend a ton of Robux on something, you know. Um, so yeah, tell me what you uh, what you liked about this video and if I sh uh, anything that I should improve on. And, um, yeah, tell me if you want me to play any other games or give uh, you guys any other tips on any other games. I usually don't do this kind of stuff, but I really like this game, and, um, yeah, I just, it's, it's fun. So, um, it should deserve a lot more players, in my opinion. Um, it used to have a lot of players. I'm not sure if it was ever on the front page. Um, but, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, bye.